Moo. <laughs> okay. Fun with women. Blah, 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 blah. I'm back. And guess what I found at a book sale of all places. I got a bag of jewelry. So let's go take a look. All right, so let's get started. Oh yeah, this is really pretty. I like the tassel on here. It's definitely vintage. I'll show you a closer up view of it. Pretty pink. Has that C clasp on it. All right, so let's take a closer look. There's some wearing on the beads. Oh, okay, yeah, so the darker pink beads are glass, and then the other ones are plastic. A little bit of wearing on the metal, which is pretty normal for these older pieces. No manufacturer's mark on the clasp or hang tag. Okay. Just looking at it with the colors, possibly 1960s, 1950s, very pretty piece. Okay, so then we have this very lovely uh, gold tone brooch. Now I would list this item here on eBay, Poshmark. Macari, and we'll check the back and if it's vintage I'll list this on Etsy and you're probably wondering how on earth do I list it on all these platforms and I do this using a cross listing service called list perfectly if you want to learn more I have a video on it in the description below take a look okay here's the back And it looks like, uh, as it never fails, we always have a Crown Trafari in the mix. So Trafari is the brand, and then uh, it has a little crown on top with a cop. We have the one with the copyright symbol. There we go. And this was manufactured in. 1955 to 1969 very pretty piece I, I don't think I've ever seen this it looks like a Calilly design I've never seen this design before all right cool all right this is pretty I like the little ladybug on there very cute And there's a brand on here. I don't recognize it. So if you know, let me know. Now this one, I picked it up because of that classic mid-century modern design. Look at that. Multi-layered gold tone imitation pearl. And the brand on here is called Capri. And it has that brush gold look on there. Cool piece. If you're ready for Christmas, here's your wreath brooch with a little bow on there. Rhinestones. Oops. Uh, no manufacturer's mark. I. This is not vintage. I'm just looking at the texture on the back here. And then the uh, construction on the front. The rhinestones look good, but they're not prong set and they're also glued in. Neither one of those are indications that uh, it's vintage or not vintage. They could go either way with that. Ah, look at that. 
1960s, here we come. <laughs> oh, a little wonky on the the wing there, but that happens. Isn't that fabulous? Okay. And here's the back. Some texture on here. It's, it's not picking it up very well. There's some lines and pattern in here. But I like the layer effect of adding two layers to create the butterfly and then having this open section here so you can see the wing underneath. Ah, okay, so let's see what's in here. Ooh. Very pretty. I like the tassel and then the imitation uh, rock crystal for the pendant. Let's see if you can see. It has a little bit of sparkle to it. It's definitely uh, imitation. You got that kind of nugget feeling on the outside there, the pendant. It's not signed, but there is a hang tag here on the end here. Let's see. Not familiar with that brand. And then there's a name back here. So, not vintage, but I, I like the design of it. Oh, 1960s. So this style of pen or brooch is called a starburst or sunburst. Relative to atomic age design and jewelry. And if we look in the back here, we see the construction. We have the layers, see all the different layers there to create the look of the brooch. And then the front, it is glued in rhinestone. So I talked about that not making a difference whether it's modern or vintage, but again, a stellar piece. Okay, fun. Fun brooch has a little mother pearl there in the middle of the flower with some pretty filigree. This is a contemporary piece. See the texture and then they put this kind of dark, almost black lines on the, uh, the gold tone to make it look darker. Okay, cool. Ah, okay. So we have the uh, jester design brooch. The eyes are left open, so whatever color clothing you're wearing is going to show through the eyes. A little bit of wearing on front. And that's the back. Looks like possibly 1980s with that clasp. We talked about that before. <clears throat> Oh, this is fun. <laughs> oh, I love that. Moo. <laughs> okay. Fun with women. <laughs> it's a very fun, whimsical pin. Ah. Okay, so we have a signature on here. It, this is the hallmark for Premier Designs. So it's a crown with a P and a D, and there's some type of leaf framing the hallmark. They have some really great designs. I like this one because it has all these great pieces of different types of glass. Let's see how it looks there.
has some nice design. All right, all right. Oh yeah, I really like this one. It's very subtle. It's made out of a piece of wood, but you can really see the person who made it thought about what the wood looked like when they created the brooch. And then here's the back. Fun. So I'm not going to make any more animal sounds because I don't know what a goat sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> but I picked this up because, again, as you hear me say often, it's a great design. And it's vintage. You can tell by the clasp. Oh, 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 oh that's so much fun. I love it. And I think I had it upside down. Oh, I did. <laughs> it's an elephant with wearing a hat. And it's vintage and it's made in Japan. It says Japan right there. It is very worn, but it's still a great piece. Oh, dear. There we go. Okay. So a fun figural piece from the 1980s. All right, great. Oh, okay. <laughs> None of these clasps were close. Okay. So the stones that you see, the rhinestones, those are called Aurora Borealis stones. Um, this is a vintage reproduction piece. Oh, I'm totally wrong. It's not, it's vintage. The front just looked like a reproduction because it was so shiny, it didn't have any tarnish on it. But when you look on the back, you see all these grommets on here. That's an indication that that was made in the 1960s. And let's see. Interesting. I still wonder if it's a reproduction, though, because the, the bar is not sticking out there. Hmm. But they're prong set. Interesting. Okay, I'll have to do some research on that one. Ah, oh yeah, this is such a pretty design. Enamel, beautiful enamel with the uh, dove. And then we have the back. It looks like it's enameling on copper. Metal is really great. Okay, cool. All right. So, caterpillar. <laughs> Not great. And it does look like there's a hallmark right here, but it's illegible to me. If you've seen this caterpillar before, let me know. I would love to know. See, that's the hallmark. All right. Ah, yeah, this is just gorgeous. Okay, so this is uh, green glass beads with metal it's a modern piece really really pretty it's it is a Le leah sophia i don't generally buy too many of their pieces um but if i can find what's called a statement piece or a stunning piece i will pick up one of them if they're especially if they're in good condition But if you look at the beads, isn't that great? And then some of them are faceted, meaning they're shaped in um, different ways. And then it has a vintage style because you see this texture on the gold tone bead right here with the lines going through it. Okay, cool. 
Okay, so this came as a set. Okay. Has a look of imitation pearl beads. This is a little wonky. Um, there we go. Happens sometimes. Very elegant. Very pretty. Okay. So let's take a closer look. So this is a necklace. I didn't recognize the hang tag, so... Oh, okay. Here we go. I'll, we'll show that to you. So it's Ellen Tracy. Pretty uh, imitation pearls. And it feels like uh, the, the beads that look faceted, those are plastic. But it's a nice set. And then I like the way the bracelet looks. And it has that nice uh, closure on it. I don't see a signature on the bracelet. It's just the necklace is signed. Okay. All right, so we're down to our last piece. <laughs> Little twisty. Woo. Ah, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Isn't that great? That is definitely a collar necklace, so it's like 12 inches, maybe, with uh, marquise, marquise? Uh, which is the shape of the, the rhinestones. See that? And look how they shimmer. Isn't that great? And they're all prong set. Stunning. And when I looked at this, see, it has, they even have like little rhinestones on the hook clasp. And then it's signed right here. I'll show that to you. Right there. Let's look at that with a loop. I don't know this brand, but I picked it up because it was a great design in really good condition. And it, it's just a stunning, stunning piece. So if you know, I would love to know more. Ooh, twisty, twisty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, interesting. There's a special hook on, you know, I've never seen this before. There's a special hook on the necklace. I've never seen one like this. I thought it was just a hook, but it has a snap closure on that. Wow, okay, that's different. Wow, cool, I like that. There we go. Cool, I've never seen that before. Huh, learn something new. I just love this necklace. It's just gorgeous, just a stunning statement piece. Ready for your next party. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to learn more about Lisp Perfectly, check out this video. In the description below, I do have a link that will give you 30% off your first month of List Perfectly. If you enjoyed this video, then give us a like and then hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.